Uh, okay. Uh, so I've made this video a few times, um, but I haven't really been that satisfied with it, like, in terms of talking about um, how concise I am and whatnot. Um, but uh, yeah, so uh, by the title of the video, this is another sort of character discussion. I wanted to talk about specifically um, ML Ken today. Now, ML Ken is a little different than Dilibet, because when I made the Dilibet video, like, I kind of like, I care about Dilibet. I liked using her, and she was like, she fit a lot of my style and a lot of like what I wanted to do with the unit. And now that she's uh, in a better position, obviously, she's a strong unit and whatever, right? Um, ML Ken is a little different. Um, I've never been like that concerned with Ken like Ken has just been in the game for a long time and he's always been there and like back then he used to be a decent issue but it was never like unsolvable and he was always just kind of there and it was like well if he's got Ken well it's gonna be pretty annoying I gotta figure out how to play around that um but I've always kind of like like the idea of having Ken around you know what I mean like just some guy doing stuff like what Ken was doing which is like Ken was built to be the ultimate uh counter unit right better than anyone else um of course, today, the game is a lot different, right? We've got things like Bellion, things like um, Rem, who are arguably just better at counterattacking than he'll ever be just because they have AoE, right? And they have, like, you don't have to attack them specifically. You can attack other units. Uh, so I've been kind of thinking a lot about, like, how we can fix Ken, how we can make Ken worthwhile, because I think you can make a few changes to Ken and impact the meta in a pretty decent way, right? In a good way. I think, like... Making Ken, giving these changes to Ken, not only will make Ken better and, like, more useful in the meta, but I think it would also make him, help him fix part of the things that are wrong in the meta right now, right? Uh, so let's kind of, let's, let's take a dive into his kit and see what exactly Ken does. Um, so his S1 is basically a waste of time, right? This S1 uh, doesn't do anything other than these upgrades, and we'll, we'll look at these upgrades, why they're important right now. You can already see right here, right? Uh, so his S1 is a waste of time. Um... It's probably the most useless S1 I've ever seen in my life. Um, I'm not sure, yeah, he just has it, right? Uh, his S3, on the other hand, is actually pretty useful. It's not why you use Ken, and it's not a really that big a deal. But it's a, it's good that he has it. It's, it just adds to what he does, right? So he gives defense break, and the fact that he's so slow, by the time he gets the defense break off, usually the first people have gone and their immunity has worn off, right? So theoretically, he'll defense break whoever has, you know, uh, low effective resistance, right? Uh, so it's, it's not bad. It's just an additional, like, here's something he gets extra. Uh, what's actually more important, however, is, in fact, the attack buff that he gains out of this, because he, he, he gains a lot of benefit from an attack buff, given most people run him on high crit damage builds. Um, so yeah, his, his attack buff is, like, hugely beneficial. Uh, and again, the, the main way they fixed this, or not, not necessarily fixed it, but the just, you know, general improvement they gave him was they made it so that this always crits, right? Uh, which I think is pretty good. Um, and then lastly here we have uh, Dragon Flame, which again, you could, you could remove this and you could remove this and Ken would still be the same. Two thirds of Ken's kit are a waste of time uh, compared to why you run him. And that's only because of this, like I said. This isn't, again, this isn't as bad as his S1, but if they took this off, Ken would still have the same impact he has today. Um, he, he only impacts the meta like 2%, right? Well, well, that's like a random number I threw out there, but let's say he impacts the meta 2%. If he took this off, it wouldn't go lower and it wouldn't go higher. It just, you know, his impact is this. This is all this is all Ken is. So let's take a look at what this, what this does and, and what makes it, you know, so useful. First of all, from back then, we've got 30% effect resistance, which is pretty good. Um, it just helps him get more effect resistance. We'll talk about his build and what, how much effective resistance you kind of want to reach on him. Uh, but this isn't like this isn't too bad. It's not something to like ridicule too much, but it's also not something that's like we could have gotten something over this, like something better than this. And but we got this, so whatever. Um, oops. Uh, anyway, so that's that's whatever. Uh, the second part of this is he has a thirty percent chance to counterattack when attacked, which used to be 10% over the counter set, right? Counter set used to be 20. It, used to, it was always 30, but it used to, Smilegate believed that it used to be 20, and then they looked at Ken and they were like, let's give 10, 10% over the counter set. Nowadays, we found out the counter set was always 30, um, which makes this kind of diminishing returns. Like, we wanted Ken to have a little more counter attack chance than the counter set, and we gave him 30, but now he's just equal to that. So, I, personally, I feel like they should have boosted this up to 40, but again... That's even if you wanted this. And personally, this this line of text right here is a waste of time. Because um, Ken, when he counters based on just the random counterattack chance, 
This attack won't crit because you don't build crit on Ken. He's got 33, so one in three of those is going to crit, and I have some crit in there. But that's going to hit like nothing. It's not going to do anything at all. It's going to it's literally a waste of text, and it's a waste of time if you're like running him in Arena or RTA or something, right? You're wasting time looking at the animation of him counterattacking because it didn't do anything, right? So personally, this this whole line of text is a waste. I, I don't. It should just just remove it or do something else with it. Do something with it, and we'll talk about that. But I don't know. To me, for some reason, this this line, this thirty percent chance to counterattack, is deeply offensive to me. Like in terms of his kit, in terms of like why it's here. Like I can't fathom what it's doing here. Um, but you know, whatever you you know, take it as you will. Um, and here's the real reason why Ken is as strong as he is. Ken has a hundred percent chance to counterattack on critical hits. Um, and not only does he counterattack, he doesn't counterattack with this, because this, again, like I said, this is a waste. He counterattacks with Dragon Flame, which is something that always crits, for one, that's why you just dump a bunch of crit damage on him. Um, proportional to the caster's lost health, so the lower health he is, the more damage he does. Um, and it gives him 25% CR push if this is still available, which, it's not the best, but it's also kind of like why it doesn't really matter, um... It gets his attack buff sooner and his defense, the option of defense breaking up sooner, which is pretty good, but like I'd rather have something other than this. Like th th This is what people don't really understand about balancing. The reason this 30% chance to counterattack is so offensive is because this is taking up space that could be used for something else to make it more relevant. They refuse to take this off, and now Ken can't get any more buffs because he's already got too many things stacked on there, right? So that's why these things are, are kind of poorly designed like he gets 25 percent combat readiness from this now he can't get extra buffs because he's already got so much stuff stacked in here when you can just take this out take this out and then have him have something more useful implanted in there um, so now we kind of so i'm kind of going back and forth between what they should change and like the, what he does so now we know what he does let's cut let's kind of talk about what they can change to make him better well okay well before we get into the changes let's talk about the meta and why ml can um, doesn't really fit right now in the meta. So ML can counterattacks when he's crit, right? That's his main thing. That's now we looked, looked at his kit. That's his, that's all he does. He basically one shots anybody, um, who crits him, right? That's, that's his whole gimmick. When we look at, oh, and the other part, I guess I forgot to mention, when we look at here, every skill enhance you give to this boosts this dragon flame and every skill enhance you give to this boosts this dragon flame here too. So my point being that when I said earlier, this is just a stat stick. So you put molas into this, not because this is a good skill, but because it's going to boost the damage on this, right? So yeah, take that as you will. Okay. So let's talk about the meta and what's going on with, with Ken. Right now, unfortunately, the meta is stuck in a place where um, a lot of the high, a lot of the people who can destroy Ken are just like, they're not critting. So Memo Kawazu doesn't crit, not that Memo Kawazu is like super in the meta right now, but he doesn't crit. He can kill him without critting. Uh, who else? Where are we looking at here? Um, like him. Ramiro, you kind of want him to crit, but he can do a lot of damage without critting. Like, it doesn't need to crit. He can just stomp on you. Uh, let's go look at Hua Young. Hua Young is the biggest example of, like, a high-tier meta unit right now that's, like, destroying everybody. And Ken can't compete with anything she's doing because he can't. she can't crit him. So she's not. he's not going to do anything, right? He's got the 30% counterattack chance built in, but who cares? Because, again, that S1 doesn't do anything. So that counterattack is a waste of everyone's time. So, like I said, so there's that. So the first, the first aspect of Ken is the meta right now is too conducive to people who don't even need to crit, right? Um, that's not even counting. Like, no one runs. Nobody runs uh, Crow, but, I mean, Crow can kill him without critting. Um... But yeah, so the other thing that we're, the other part that we're looking at, right, that's the first aspect. The second aspect that we're looking at is there's so many people counterattacking without needing to hit Ken. So take Bellion. If you hit their team and Bellion counterattacks, Bellion's going to hit Ken, whittle his health down, especially now she has more damage on him because she has elemental advantage or whatever. And Ken's just going to sit there and take it, which means that after taking a few of these, he's going to be in one-shot range for, like, even a regular damage dealer, and then he's just going to die, right? So the point being that, like, things like Bellion, a lot of this counter meta that's going on, um, I don't, you know, I don't hate it as much as a lot of people. A lot of people really hate this counter meta, but I think they're just dumb. Um, but, again, Rem is another example of a unit that can hit Ken and do a lot of damage to him without even, like, taking anything in response, right? Like, he can't do anything to that. Like, he's getting crit for no reason. Um, and those, so those are the two, those are the two first things. 
Now there's a third thing that killed Ken a long time ago before all these problems came up. And that is, for those of you who, oh, here's another example, right? Armin can counterattack and hit Ken and not really care, right? Like, they're just releasing more units. I mean, he may be, but like, you know, no one's using him anymore, so, you know, whatever. But, you know, that's my point. Um, but let's go back to what I was talking about. The third reason, so those are the two reasons that are more new and more meta relevant. The third reason, which has been around for the longest and is what originally killed Ken to begin with, was uh let's see if we can find them here uh we were right here here we go is this line of text right here this tri this skill can trigger a counterattack. i don't remember how many skills have this mind you um but landy and ml tenebria two very prominent units in the meta as well as probably i think solitaria has something like that um yeah i can't really remember who else has no counterattacking. does she have that i feel like she has that for some reason that nah, doesn't really matter. But you all understand my point. Again, here's another example of a unit that deals a lot of damage without needing to crit, right? So anyway, we're back to what we're talking about. Those are the three reasons Ken is kind of like just not in the meta. Like he can't, they're not, not only are they the reasons he's not in the meta, they're the reason he can't penetrate back into the meta. Um, and to me, that's kind of like, I don't know, that's really irritating. Like to see him where he's at right now. And that's why I'm making this video. Uh, so again, the fourth, kind of the fourth counter to Ken is just the fact that LQC is still a very common threat in the meta. Um, because there's, there's like, it doesn't matter how you build your ML Ken, he will never be tanky enough to survive an LQC. You could dump, you could dump all his damage and put it into survivability, and he's still just going to get one shot by her. Um, but again, like I said, you're not going to do that because you need his damage, right? So, you know, just having all these one shot one shotting units, like even even a Violet could probably kill him. Like my Violet does 16k and most ML Kens are around 16k. Some of them build them up to like 18k, but like whatever, right? Um the other part of the the other part of the reason is just like general, you know, general reasons of like, you know, people can't survive getting one shot out here and ML Kens no exception to that. Um, so I guess like here, you know, here we are at the point where it's like how do we fix Ken? How do we how do we deal with some of these issues? Uh, well, first of all, I think, again, what comes, what makes me so, what kind of made me so, like, offended by, like, Ken's kit and the way he's built and the way, like, you know, uh, Smilegate is handling all this, um, is because I think we have, where is he? Because Ramiru basically stepped on his toes in terms of, like, how that works. Because Ramiru, his S2, or her S2, she can basically counterattack without counterattacking, right? I mean, how many times do you, does Landy shoot her S3 off and then Ramiro hits her back, right? And gets all her buffs. Like, that was basically a counterattack. It's more useful. So, I, Ramiro has showed us that they're not afraid to make units that can get around the whole can't be counterattacked element of the game by basically giving them a counterattack. Um, it might be kind of drastic, but I think that giving Ken that same Ramiru esque passive. Not don't have you don't have to call this a counterattack. Just give him remove the the the, the, the this text here. One hundred percent chance to attack with Dragon Flame when he gets a critical hit. Right. Just make it that, and I think like that'll just solve ninety nine percent of his problems. Maybe not ninety nine. Right. But there's still a few more. But just give him that. Just make it so that every time he gets crit, he can he can hit back with his S two with his Dragon Flame. Um. Yeah, and I think that, I mean, that, that's like the only change I would want to see on him. Um, it would make it so that one, again, Ramiru, if you hit somebody and Bellion's um, Elbrus Ritual Blade, blade uh, procs and she hits the whole team, Ramiru can S2 off of Bellion's thing and then hit her while she's doing that. That would solve that, you know, adding another unit that can do that, like Ken, can help fix a lot of that. Like I said, I don't have a big problem with all these counterattack Bellion and and um, and uh, Rem and all this stuff. Like you know, I don't have a big problem with that aspect of the game personally. A lot of people do, but my point being that adding ML Ken will help solve that a little bit. It's not going to solve it 100, percent but it would make it so people have to be more wary about where they're throwing critical hits around, right? People just launching them all over the place. You can't just run a Landy. Now it was important at the time because uh, there wasn't that many counters at the time uh, for Landy to be like, okay, she needs to stop getting counterattacked, right? I understand that. I'm not, And then especially, you know, again, you got someone like um, like Tenebri, right? I understand how, like, her counter started becoming more popular, so we had to find some way to keep her in stealth, and the whole counterattack is good. Um, I, you know, I don't disagree with that. But I think we're at the point where counter has so much 
counter, right? There's so many things countering counter set. And we all know how to play around a little better just because how, how prominence become now that we know it's 30%. Um, the point being that, like, now that we're at that phase, I think we need to put martial artist Ken back on in his position of being the top counterattack unit where it's like we have units that counter, we have units that stop counter, and we need to make Ken at the top of that pedestal of, like, he's a counter unit that can't be stopped. Um, as long as you meet the conditions, right? I don't want to make him counter 100%. That's dumb. Um, as long as he gets crit, I want him to just counterattack. Um, it doesn't have to be a counterattack with this. Or maybe just put a line at the end of this, take off this 30% chance to counterattack, and put a line at the end of it that just says uh, is unaffected by unable to counterattack or something like that. Just put that in there. Oh, th that was the other unit. Um, that green Pavel. Pavel stops counterattacks. And there's more, right? But um, yeah, just have Ken be that exception. Let him be exceptional and be that exception of. Ken can counter when no counterattack is present, right? Um, and I think that'll fix a lot of his problems. I think we'll see Ken a lot more. I think, again, we'll fix a lot of the things that people are seeing these days where it's like they're really annoyed about like having to deal with all this counter set. Because if you get like Bellion and she counters and she crits Ken, Ken's just going to hit her anyway, right? And she's not just safe from that because she doesn't have to do that. Um, Rem is another easy example. Like Rem is easier because you can just like single target other people with Rem's basic attacks where Bellion has to AoE when it's her turn and Ken's going to hit you, but by that point it doesn't really matter anymore. Um, but yeah, so I think that in general, you'd want to see that on Ken. Um, what else could we add into this? Like, like I said, you can take some of this stuff off. You can take off this 30% effect resistance. The, the effect resistance isn't too good. It's not too bad. The problem is that like some people try to like build a bunch of effect resistance on Ken because of that. Um, when I think probably around 100 to maybe 150 if you want to push it more. Uh, 100 to 150 is where you want Ken because you want him to dodge, or not dodge, you want him to resist incidental um, uh, incidental debuffs, right? And what that means is like, you're not going to like dodge Cerises and you're not going to, or not dodge, but you're not going to resist Cerises, you're not going to resist, you know, Rans or Pieri or whatever, you're not going to resist those people or uh, Basar. They have too much effectiveness. But what you want him to resist is you want him to resist things like Arby's um, blind, right? Arby's not going to run effectiveness because that's dumb. Effectiveness because that's dumb, right? Um, so you know, as long as you have enough to get rid of like you know, uh, Ar uh, Arby's like S uh, S three blind or maybe like again, Infernal Kawazu doesn't run that much effectiveness. You just usually because he has effect resistance. But if you ever want to like dodge some of his things or he doesn't get his vigor off or whatever, um, so basically the point is. Uh, because of this 30 effect resistance, you can take or leave this, but it's helpful to reach that point of, like, he's not going to be uh, affected by just incidental um, CC. Like, if they're going to CC him, they need to CC him deliberately, and they need to use a unit deliberately uh, designed to CC him, right? Um, so that's, that's you know, that's that aspect. Which, like I said, you can take that or leave that, but like I said, do something to make him like Ramiru, where you can just counter when this condition is met. Like, there's nothing that's not going to, like... If anything, like, okay, I am in favor, again, this is this is a personal philosophy that not everyone subscribes to with Epic 7 and just general games. I'm in favor of getting people above the balance line. Now, ideally, you want people at the balance line, but I'd rather have them at above the balance line than them get than, than undershooting the balance line and still being weak. And that's kind of what Ken's been happening with all his buffs. And he hasn't had that many, but, like, he's been buffed slowly over time, and they keep balancing him to the point where he's under the, the, the you know, under the balance line, where other people get skyrocketed over the balance line. I'm in favor of more units over the balance line so that we see more exciting, you know, units to be used rather than just trying to get everyone slowly up to that line because then nobody wins because then, you know, we have a whole roster of units that can't be used, right? Um, so, yeah, personally, like I said, that's my philosophy of, like, I'd rather see more people over the balance line than see Smilegate wasting their time pulling people down below the balance line because that's... That's really the, the bottom line is like they can either get people higher up in the meta or they can just drag people down and then other people are going to replace them anyway, right? Because there's always going to be a meta. There's always going to be overpowered units. Um, so just like get more of our units up there. Make them more fun to play. And Ken is another example of like you can make him more fun to play. Uh, but right now, again, that, you know, and it's not like, let's look here. This suggestion of letting him counterattack even against people who are immune to counterattacks, giving him that ability 100% of the time whenever he gets crit isn't going to make him broken because it still leaves other problems that he has. Like I said, he's still going to get one shot by a lot of people. Like um, he's still going to get one shot by um, LQC. Um, there are still units in the meta that don't crit. So we've got things like Inferno Kawazu, who might see a resurgence given his uh, thing. 
his uh, EE. Um, but we got things like, um, what's her name? Uh, Hua Young as well, right? She doesn't crit. Uh, so I think, like I said, I think that'll increase his usefulness, but it won't make him to the point where he's like overpowered now. Uh, because there's still a lot of counters to him in the meta. Uh, so I think, like I said, just fixing this will make him, will fix one of his problems, right? The, the unable to be counterattacked, as well as the whole, well, that's, it'll, it'll fix 50% of them, because the other problem was, again, that AoE counterattack meta that we're in. Um, it'll fix that too, right? So I, personally, that's what I think would fix him. I think just that alone would fix him, but if you want to add something, mo something more, I think you should take, they, like all these skill ups, all these damage increases, put them on here and then get these three and only put three on here, right? Because right here you get uh, 25, 30, uh, wait, what? 25, 30, 35. So you get 35% damage here and over here you get uh, what? 20, 30, 30% damage here. So get this 30%, put it on here and get this and put it on here. And what I think they should do is maybe take some off of here, make this 25 and make this 40 or something, right? Uh, but what they should do is, if they're gonna keep this 30% counterattack chance, which they should just get rid of, but you know, whatever. If they're gonna keep this, give this the same treatment you did here, the successful attack always crits. Give it to here, and then make that so that this does less damage when he triggers the 30% counterattack chance. Um, and then just make this one better do what it already does, right? Because, like I said, even with this, even even when this crits on the one in three chance that this crits off the thirty percent counter attack, it still doesn't do any damage. It does barely any damage because the damage from here comes from these skill ups plus these skill ups uh, plus the health scaling thing on there. That's where this damage comes from. And I think you know, like I said, making this always crit, reducing the damage a little bit, and dumping the rest of this damage back into this one, like take off take off this last fifteen percent and put it on here at the end here would make it so it's s1 now crits all the time so you have a slightly better um damage over time you know you know yeah damage over time uh and you still get to keep the high damage per hit on this right um so that's kind of my thing like i said if you're not going to do that if you're not going to do that just remove this 30 percent chance because otherwise his s1 is useless and the 30 percent chance doesn't do anything um but yeah uh hopefully like i said this still took as long as the dilibet one uh, but hopefully it's a little more like the, the idea is it's a little more simple because Ken is a very simple unit. He doesn't need to do anything complicated. Um, his S3 is already fine the way it is. Um, yeah, it's already fine the way it is. Uh, his S2, like I said, needs a few changes, needs to get the Ramiro treatment where he can do this whenever. Not Because Ramiro can only do it once every two turns, but he needs to just be able to do this whenever. Whenever he gets crit, he's going to activate this S2. And I don't think that would damage the game. Like It would just make him strong. It would make him strong enough to compete is all. Um, because again, he still has counters. He's not uncounterable now. He's still gonna get dumpstered on by Hua Young or um, LQC. Like there's nothing he can do about that. Or he's still gonna get CC to death, right? Um, there's, you know, like I said, he's still got counters. He's not Im invincible, but it'll make him more usable. Um, I don't know why they're afraid to make units usable is my main thing. Um, but yeah, like I said, just and then the last change is make this do something. Like make it do. Something make it worth something other than just being a stat stick here for the S2. Um, but yeah, so hopefully uh, some of you could agree. Let, let you know, let me know what you guys think in the in the comment section in terms of like, do you think it's too far? I like I said, I I already kind of gave my point of like why I don't think it's too far, why I think it's fine. Um, if you think you know what what thing what changes do you think I should make to the to this like to this right like I don't really know what else like I said. There's not really a whole lot you can do with Ken because he only does one thing. The problem with today's meta is he's not allowed to do his thing. Uh, so we need to find ways to make him, like, to help him do his thing. Um, I guess the video is kind of over, but if you want to, like, stick around to see what, like, kind of build you need to run on Ken. Uh, personally, crit damage is a uh, crit damage set is kind of like the standard because you need him to hit hard. Uh, some people kind of want to run him on lifesteal and then get as much crit damage as possible. As long as you can get 350 crit damage, I mean, I, I'm running him on crit damage set and I still don't have 350, so, you know, take that for what you will. Um, but the point being, uh, some people want to run him on lifesteal so you can open up the uh, this slot here and every hit he does uh, he heals him instead of just, like, whenever he's only below 50. I think that's pretty good as long as you can get the 350 crit damage. The attack percentage is decent, um, but don't worry about it too much. Uh, the crit damage is what matters most because he scales. He's got different kinds of scaling, right? He's got scaling from this. He's got scaling from health scaling. Um, and he gets free crits, right? So that's basically the, the, the reason you want to do that. Uh, he gets scaling from attack because he's got his S3. 
Um, but yeah, so like I said, I run him on crit damage because I don't really mind too much. I don't have, I also don't have the um, the life steal gear to make a 350 crit damage can. With ideally, you want more health, so you want somewhere around like 18 health, 18k. Um, 16k isn't too bad. I, I have him a little under 16k. When I boost this, it goes up to 16k. I, I took off his Tigger Scythe and give it to someone else. But the point being, um, basically, you can treat him as 16k HP, which is pretty, which is pretty good. Um, but if you really want a solid can, you want 18k. Uh, defense, you kind of, it doesn't really matter too much. Um, it's important because defense, again, I've said this before, defense scales with lifesteal, so keep that in mind. If you want, you know, uh, and then again, attack, you can attack, you still want it to be decently high. You don't want to neglect attack. You don't want them to be like 2,000, 2,500. But I think 3,000 is the minimum. If you want to be really strict, probably 3,500 is the minimum. Uh, but I don't like farm gear for Ken. Like, I did these two, but that's just because I was looking for resistance sets for someone else. Um, again, so now the last part is what is the offset? Uh, some people run um, effect resistance set. I kind of am like wanted to take it off because I'm still even without the effect resistance set. I'm down to 112 or something like that, and I think that's enough effect resistance for Ken. Um, but I don't have the kind of gear to boot to put him because I had this before they even gave us a 30% here, um, which as you can see it was 100%. So thanks to that 30, I don't have to run this effect resistance set. Um, and I think obviously for you know. I think most of us already know what the offset should be, and that's probably something like a, uh, a pen set, right? I don't have, a, but I don't have spare pen sets to just hand them out like that. Um, but yeah, so a pen set with like crit damage or life steal is good, and then your artifact. It's hard to like find out. Like some people want to run life steal so they can run something like uh, like this, right? Effect resistance set, uh, the effect resistance gauntlet. Um, I don't, I don't really. I don't really care about that artifact, but there's not a whole lot of other artifacts I would run over the Sigurd Scythe, so I just keep it on Sigurd Scythe, um, just because it gives them way more damage, 25%, even without boosting it. The boosting, leveling up the artifact only gives you health steal back, or more health steal, or more life steal, um, but everything else is the same. You get 25% no matter what, which is like a huge boost on top of the fact that he's got attack buff here, which is 50%. Um, so yeah, like I said, that's the build. Uh, again, leave in the comments like what, you know, how you think what Ken's problems are. Do, are there any problems I missed that maybe Ken, I didn't foresee? Oh, who's another example, right? I'm looking through here. Like, people who do true damage in general, right? So you got people like um, ML Crow. Not that ML Crow is that high in the meta these days. Um, CC works on him, but CC works on everybody. Um, that Crow again. Uh, who's the other one that I was going to mention? Who does true damage? Oh, he's down here somewhere. Sage, right, can just kill him with his S3, not have to worry about it. Or you just put him to sleep um, and not have to worry about him until later. But yeah, like I said, um, if there's any, like, particular problems that I missed out on what why Ken is bad um, or, you know, way, ways to fix that, like I said, it's important to fix units to make them worth using or usable, but you don't want to go too far because then you're kind of, like, you, then he's overpowered and then people are complaining about that side, right? So just hopefully these buffs that I suggested aren't, strong to the point where they're broken hopefully they're just like usable because um, like i said it'll make people kind of be more wary to pick belly and, and rem and you know, people already can already irritated about those builds in general right uh, so yeah till uh till next time hopefully uh some of you got something out of this video and um i don't know who the next <laughs> who the next uh, um you know buff review whatever character is going to be after today but yeah